Every summer I make a little bit of snow cone syrup for myself because shaved ice in the summer is my favorite all-time treat. I will even go to a fair just to buy some snow cones. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. My name is Barbara and for over a decade I've been teaching viewers and subscribers how to cook authentic dishes from my home country of Belize and many other delicious dishes from basic ingredients. It never fails, guys. Every time I want to record a segment outside, you hear these birds chirping, the winds will pick up so it messes with the microphone. You hear the police cars, you know, the sirens go in, the fire truck planes fly above, cars go up and down the street. But you know what? It is what it is. I want to record this segment outside because it's summer. So yesterday I got into the kitchen and I made some snow cone syrup, all right? I made my favorite flavor, bubble gum. So I don't know why I feel like bubble gum is supposed to be blue. I think it's because when going to the fairs in the past, every time I've gotten that flavor, it was always blue. So I put some blue dye. Some people will scream and holler and go, why do you have to put the dye? I put the dye because it makes it pretty. If not, it's not going to have any color. So most of the time when people make uh, snow cone syrup, they will do two cups of sugar to one cup of water. I do one cup of sugar to half a cup of water because I don't want to make a whole lot. I only eat this about two or three times throughout the entire summer because this stuff is all sugar, you know? Young and old, we have to watch our sugar intake, right? But we want our little treat now and again. So I just made a little bit, one cup of sugar, half cup of water, put it on high heat. Once it comes to a boil, a rolling boil, not a simmering boil, time it for exactly one minute. All right, then pull it off of the heat, add your little extract in. I'm putting bubble gum, but you can put pineapple. You can put any other flavor you have or the flavor that you like, and then put some coloring to go with it. I feel like the pineapple is supposed to be yellow. The bubble gum is supposed to be blue. The, you know, strawberry flavor or cherry flavor is supposed to be red. You know, I have my own little thoughts as to what they're supposed to be. So put whatever you like. Now, I also wanted to do another recipe that I saw online because I saw some people making the syrup with Kool-Aid. So I went to Jade and I'm like, you want to try this? Jada goes, I hate Kool-Aid. We're not a family that loves Kool-Aid at all. We've never liked it. So she says, I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to get some Starburst and some Skittles and stuff. And I'm going to get just a ton of flavors. And we're going to come back and try that. So this is what we did. Same thing again. One cup of sugar, half a cup of water. Bring it to a boil. Time it one minute. And then all you have to do now is add a little packet of thing and stir. Make sure it mix, it's mixed well. Set it aside. So if it gets sugary on you while it's sitting there, because it's supposed to last two weeks to a month, just go ahead and nuke it in the microwave a couple of seconds, you know, 10 seconds or so, and it'll come back to liquid again for you, okay? So this is what we did. We did like four flavors. We did the mango slash tangelo. I did a pineapple, you know, just from the different brands. And of course I have my bubble gum. So I have like four, four going right now, and I have to put them in the fridge because ants are gonna take them, all right? So we're gonna enjoy. Look, I have my little snow cone machine. Yes, it still works. We used this for a party one time and it almost burned up because everybody was waiting on their snow cones. <laughs> so anyways, go ahead and put your flavoring here. No, I'm not gonna put the condensed milk, Belizeans. No, I'm not gonna put the condensed milk. Why? I'm lactose intolerant and, and two. It's too much sugar, <laughs> but I want to. My favorite memory of growing up in Belize is, I, I've told you guys this story a million times. I would go to the snow cone man, the fresco man, they call it fresco in Belize. And I would take that blue Johnny Walker mug that my grandpa owned. And the man would fill it up and put all this stuff. And I would say, my grandpa said, put lot, put lots of the syrup. He never put the condensed milk, just the syrup. And then when we came back, my, I would go in the kitchen, get the condensed milk. We had to steal it because my Aunt Grace would get after us, right? You know, they put the two holes in the top of the tin and they put the tin in something else to, to secure it from the ants, right? You go, <laughs> blow, <laughs> blow in that one hole and just drizzle that condensed milk. My grandpa would be out there eating and then he would get to like halfway and then he'd give me the rest. Child, mm, mm, mm. I always stayed underneath my grandpa because he would give me the good piece of meat. He would give me the fresco. It's because I persisted though. The rest of the kids didn't care to do that. I'm like, I'm gonna wait right here. They gave him a whole chicken breast. He's not gonna eat the whole thing. He eats clean anyways because he puts it in a different plate and cuts it off there. I'm wait right here. And I get all the stuff. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed my little stories. And if you want to reach out to me, this is the email, bearpantryshow at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and of course, I look forward to your comment. And I also have this video, the, the, the syrup, the two syrups, the bubble gum and the other flavors. 
at Facebook as, as Reels and here at YouTube as Shorts, all right? So watch those so that I can get these little bonus money. I, I really appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Remember guys, we are not buying this book. Pick up a copy of this book instead. Beans and Rice Volume 2 is the only Belizean cookbook backed by The Bear Pantry Show. Take a look at all these wonderful recipes you'll find inside the pages. Not interested in Belizean dishes? Then The Pantry Laid Bear with these better than restaurant quality comfort foods might be the perfect book for you. Only need a small batch or a meal for two? Then pick up a copy of No More Leftovers. Each book has many choices of delicious dishes from basic ingredients.